Good afternoon, House of Prayer. This is Sharon, and I'm here to bring you, it's time to train up your spirit. We are in the last days. Four ways to develop a strong spirit. The world we live in is a very tough one, and we are often faced with challenges that appear greater than us. Fortunately for us believers, God has promised us victory in him. John 16, 33. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. We can leverage on that power of the Holy Spirit to fortify us and make us bold enough to tackle the challenges that may rise up against us but we need to develop a strong spirit why do we need to develop a strong spirit it is not enough to say that we have the holy spirit your spirit is what the bible calls the inner man which is the core of your being you need to build up your inner man in the strength of the Holy Spirit if you want to have the strength needed to face the world. We have to receive the power of the Holy Spirit into our own spirit. We need a strong spirit to get us through all that we encounter here on earth. 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 1 tells us that perilous times will come in the last days and we are in the last days. We need a strong spirit to scale through these times. The strong spirit of a man sustains him in bodily pain or trouble but not a weak spirit who can barely raise up or bear. Proverbs 18:14 You need a strong spirit to carry you through the tough times. If your spirit is weak, you will fall at the slightest appearance of trouble. Your spirit is the center of your being, the real you. It is the invisible part of you that controls everything you do. It is what we believe in our spirit that influences the way we live our lives. We have to train up our spirit so that it is able to stand up in the times of trouble as ye therefore receive Christ Jesus as Lord. Continue to live in him, rooted and built up in him and established in the faith as ye have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. Colossians 2, verses 6 and 7. The part of us that is being built up and rooted in God is not our body, but the spirit which controls all of our actions, we are instructed to build our spirit up so that we are able to stand against the troubles, sickness, failure, or challenges the enemy may want to throw at us. It is expected in believers to face troubles in this journey as we await the second coming. The devil is not stronger than we are. We are the ones who fail to develop the strength in us. If God has pronounced us victors, then we are all victors indeed. Your spirit can be stronger than what it is. It all depends on you. As long as we are still on the earth, we will face challenges. Prayers will take away these challenges will not take away these challenges. Our prayers can only develop the strength and resilience needed to overcome the challenges you have to choose. Between building up your strength and making yourself vulnerable to the enemy's attack, 
if you faint on the day of adversary or adversity, that strength is small. Proverbs 24.10 If you are easily moved by the things around you and the thing you are faced with, it means you have a weak spirit. Our spirits have to be built up and strengthened in the power of the Holy Ghost. A tough spirit will get you through all the crisis and trials the enemy may bring your way. You need to build a barricade around your spirit so that no attack from the enemy is able to penetrate. How do you build up your spirit? Here are four ways to build up your spirit. Know where you stand. Take a thorough and object objective look at your spiritual condition. Where do you stand? Ask yourself. Do you have a strong or weak spirit? If you want to get better, you have to first discover where you stand. If you are weak, be sure to know that every believer has the potential to develop as much strength as he can. Do not think there is no hope for you as long as you are in God. You can draw from his strength. However, be sure to note that troubles will arise to test your strength even as you walk on developing your strength. Be prepared to conquer any challenge the devil may hurl at you. 1 Peter 2 and 2 Like newborn babies crave pure spiritual milk as they so that by it you may grow up in your salvation. Watch your spiritual diet. If you have problems with your physical growth, the first thing the doctor looks at is your diet. This does apply to your spiritual growth. This is because what you take in affects your growth and output. The phrase, you are what you eat, is also applicable in the spirit realm. Matthew 4.4 4 says, But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that comes out of the mouth of God. God's word is our food as God's children. We must fuel our faith with the truth that lies in God's word. Romans ten seventeen tells us that the faith comes by hearing the word of God. The more we give ourselves to the word, the more faith is built in us. The word is the nutrients of the spirit to be strong. Psalms 119, 103. How sweet are your words to my taste? Sweeter than honey to my mouth. Let your spirit feast on the word. Jeremiah fifteen sixteen. Where your words came, I ate them. They were my joy and my heart's delight. For I bear your name, Lord God Almighty. Get spiritual exercise. 1 Timothy chapter 4 verses 7 and 8 tells us that spiritual exercise is more profitable than physical exercise. This is because it strengthens our spiritual muscles. How do we exercise spiritually? We do this by reading studying, meditating, and confessing the word. Our faith is always built up as we pray and make an effort to practice God's word. James chapter 1, 22 through 25. You don't exercise one and expect results. 
you have to make a habit of exercising. Take spiritual rest. Humble yourselves. Therefore, unless the mighty hand of God, so that all proper time he may exalt you, casting all of your cares upon him, for he cares for you. First Peter 2, 6 through 7. By your human power, you can do nothing. You need to rely on God's power and work within you. Rest on the promises of God and let him take the lead. Spend time with him and trust him to help you walk through life. Isaiah forty thirty one tells us, But they who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings of eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not grow faint. We are all need to develop a strong spirit because no man can thrive in this world without it. If you want to remain strong and stand in the face of challenges, build up your spirit man. Amen.